this video, we're going to go over the basics of the Roland MC707. Let's turn it on. First, before we do anything, let's create a new project. Press project here. And we can see a menu. So we can turn the C4 knob or use the arrows left to right or the value knob. So it's set to new and let's push down on the C4 knob. It'll say new project, clear current project. Are you sure? Okay. Now we're in a new project. So first, before we do anything, we have to fix the pad settings. So to enter settings, press shift and then knob assign. Now under here, it says utility. Now we see the menu. Again, we can turn the value, use the arrows or use C4. Let's choose set. We can click in the C4 knob or we can press enter. So if you made a mistake and you want to go back, just press exit. We can see the tabs on the top. We can use the arrow keys to navigate go up or down, or we can use C1 or C2 to go through the tabs. Knob C3 can go up or down, and knob C4 changes the setting. If I turn value, it also changes the setting. If I have tempo enabled and turn value, it's going to change the BPM. So make sure tempo's disabled. Now here's my pad settings. The pad curve type is set to log. Threshold is set to zero. Trigger sensitivity set to 10 and pad gain to 100. So let's press exit and then go back up at the menu, press exit again, and now we're in the main screen. So here we can see eight different track columns. So any one of these eight tracks are either instruments, drums, or audio files. Each column has three parameters, a volume mixer, and then the select button. If I press here, now the pads will play from this track. If we want to change the color of this, hold down shift, press select. Now we can see down here, LED color. So we can see as we turn this, all the different colors. It's a wide range of different colors we have. Let's just choose green. Press exit. So let's make sure that track one is selected by pressing the select button. Make sure note is selected here and play on the pads. We don't hear anything. That's because the volume is at zero. So let's turn up the fader. We can hear the volume also fading in. As we're playing, we can adjust the parameters. So this is cut off. You can hear the high end cutting down. It's almost like you're cupping your hands around your ears. So it changes the decay in the middle here. So it makes it kind of shorter. The bottom one here changes the reverb amount. So we can turn it up in here. So what we're going to do is change these knobs so we can modify for our own custom sounds. So we just press knob assign. Now the first one here is cut off. It says C1. That's this. So if I turn it, it'll change different parameter. So that's this one and that's cut off. And I want to keep it that way. We're going to keep cut off as the first knob. So the second one here says decay. And what I'm going to do is turn the decay all the way down to negative 64. And now let's change it to release. So now we can play here. We can hear it's a lot more severe. We can turn it into little clicks. Now for C3 right here, let's change that. Let's turn it all the way to the beginning. Now we just turn it to coarse tune. So that's going to change the pitch of the samples. So if I turn it up here, you can hear the pitch is changing. Now if we go above 23, it goes in reverse. So we have a lot of different options now. Let's just make a very basic beat. I'm just going to put a kick drum here, a snare here. You see little dots indicates quarters. So 4, 8, 12, 16. So just kind of want to make it lined up to that. Now that's the hi-hat, just enabled one every other. Let's just listen to it. Now we have a tempo. I just enabled it. Let's turn down the value. Okay. Now let's play with the parameters. Let's turn down release. Change the pitch.
Change the tempo. So we can really change the sound of the beat this way. Let's exit here. If I hold down select, I see here level, pan, delay, and reverb. So that's lined up to these different knobs. So if I turn it up here and turn the delay send up, if I hold it down and turn, it's gonna go a lot quicker. So let's turn it up on reverb. Let's press play. And change that pitch. Change the release. Turn down the cutoff. Now let's turn all these down. So I'm just gonna hold down the knob, turn it all the way to the left. There we go. So that was a really basic beat. Now what I'm gonna do is go into the synth. So let's turn down the drums a little, turn up the synth. So here's the white keys on the piano and the black keys. And right here is octave down. So if I press it, it goes down. And you can go up as well. So let's go in and edit the sound. So shift sound. Now we see a menu here. We're just going to keep this very simple. And right here is an oscillator. So the oscillator is the tone that we hear. It's set to VA. Now if I go to the left, for example, it says PCM. I'm going to hold down C4 knob and turn it all the way to the left. Now we're at piano. but the sound cuts out. So what I'm gonna do is go over to amp. That's the volume. And then we have a ramp. The attack is the on-ramp, DK. It goes down to sustain. And when you let go, then it goes to the release off-ramp. So let's turn up the release. I'm gonna hold down the C4 knob, turn it up to about 700. Now it plays out when I let go. You can also turn down sustain have decay up, maybe 700. So what I want to do is turn up the reverb, so I'm going to turn up that knob. So let's hold it down, let's turn up delay, let's turn up reverb, turn down the cutoff. Now what I want to do is go back into the sound edit, Let's change it back to virtual analog. So right here where you can see the waveform. So I can turn this and we can see a lot of different waveforms. Let's turn up the cutoff so we can hear more of the tone. So all these different waveforms. Let's stick to saw wave. Next we have pulse width, so if we turn this and here, we're changing the shape of the wave. You can turn it down, you can turn it up, make it more intense. Next we have pulse width modulation, so let's turn this back down, maybe to 64, which was the center. So if I turn this up, we can hear. So let's go over to LFO 2 and change the rate. So I'm making it slower. Change the cutoff a little. Let's go back to the oscillator and change the pulse width. Now let's go to LFO 1. I want to change pitch. So if I turn it up just slightly. You can change that waveform. Now there's other waveforms that can get pretty complicated called step. We'll get into that later.
So right now let's just do triangle wave. Kind of a slower rate. Turn down the cutoff a little. Let's actually go in the filter. You can turn up the resonance a little. Now what I want to do is change this to resonance. But before I do it, this is actually modulates the pitch. I'm going to turn it up just a little. Let's press knob assign. And we can see C2 mod. So let's turn that to resonance. Now we can modify. Turn that up. Let's change C3 to octave shift. So now it'll change the octave. Let's exit. Now we can also change the effects. So let's turn the switch off. We can hold down shift and we can see tons of different effects that we can run this through. Let's switch it to modulation delay and turn it on. Now let's play. Now in this menu we can switch. You can see, press function and it switches just two screens. We can edit the parameters. So let's play with a beat a little bit. Press play. Shift sound. Now we can see here, we can access all the different pads. Let's say I want to change that one, press enter. Now we can do instrument select, preset, and now, right now we're in electronic kicks, we can change it, we can hear it live. So let's do that one. Press exit. Now we also have MFX, press enter. Now we see here, I have it set to guitar amp synth. There's a whole lot of other ones. Let's turn it on. Now what I wanna do is exit, press shift and multi. So this effect, I chose time control delay. There's a whole bunch of other ones. Let's enable it. So what this says is, feedback and this is time so let's turn down the feedback a little now let's go into the synth here let's press shift reverb change it to warm hall and then we can turn up the time and the level so if I press play here we can see what's playing Let's put in a note. Let's press a step. It's blinking. I can just press this note. It's going to play it every time. Now that's going too fast. So I'm going to press shift and clip. You can see scale. Let's just turn that to 1 8th. Now it's going way slower. Let's press this one here. Just tap it. We can add four notes, so I can go octave up here, maybe add some notes. Let's enter in the notes here. Turn down the cutoff. Turn the resonance up. Notice I had motion record on by mistake. So let's delete motion. So shift, motion on, clear motion knob, okay. So now everything's not recorded in. Shift sound, let's go into 
filter envelope. Turn down sustain, turn up decay, turn up release. And go down to filter, let's turn up envelope depth. Turn up the resonance. If I hold down select, press arrow up, it goes up an octave. Turn down envelope depth a little bit here. All I can do is turn it down a little. Now I want to copy this to this track. So let's press exit. We can navigate here, which is this track, that clip, number one. Now here we're going to choose copy. It says ready to paste. I'm going to arrow over to this track three, choose paste, just the sound. So now we have the same sound here, but let's change it, shift sound, let's go to oscillator, let's just change it to a square, change the pulse width, turn the modulation down. If I go to control, I can turn the octave up. Now there's another way to enter in notes. Press record in any step, let's say here even. I can just press a note. It's going to advance to the next step. Compressed breast. I can press record. Let's say I wanted to do it again. Hold down record, press a step. So let's turn up the drums, press play. Let's go to the amp, turn down release a little. We can turn down decay as well. Turn down the drums. Turn up the cutoff. Go into the clip and change the direction. Now it's going backwards. Now it's going forward and backwards. Now this is just going back and forth zigzag. Random. Hold down select, press down. Lower octave now. And turn the scale down to one eighth. Go back to the sound. Let's turn the pulse width all the way down. Change to something different here. Octave down. Change different effects on here. Let's choose this. Change the delay, make it a lot lower. Press function, we can switch between different screens. Turn up the feedback. Let's turn these down. Go back to amp and turn up decay. Turn up release. Press tempo, turn make it slower. Let's go in the drums here. Let's switch out the snare. So shift sound, let's go to that pad, press enter, and switch to a different sound.
press record and tap something in. So you can play it in live. select say this track I can only transpose the notes of one track at a time hold down note if I press here it transposed it plus seven plus five let's turn up the cutoff back to C So now what I want to do, select, shift, clip. Now let's just turn the scale up to 132nd on both. We have our multi-effects. We have the drums. Octave down. I can change the step length, so let's bring it down. Now, on the kick, let's add a note here. If I hold it down, I can change mute. So that changes the percentage of it being triggered. And also, Direction. Let's change the time on the multi. Change the pitch. Let's clear the motion. Clearing motion. Press record. Motion. Let's turn these up. Let's go into the clip again. Change it to forward. Change the step length back to 16. Change the pitch. Turn on tempo, turn it up. Tempo all the way up. 
Looks like its max is 300 BPM. Hold this down to make sure delay and reverb are all the way up. Select here, copy, over here, paste, sound. I can put in some notes here. Now it's not active, I'm going to press enter. 